Today we saw this market go from red to green. What does that mean for Friday's session? I'll break it all down, but before that... There is the closing bell, guys, with the S&Ps finishing up about 20 points. For the most part, we see all of our indices in the green. What stands out the most to me is the Russell 2000 up over two and a quarter of a percent. We see the Dow that's up a little under 200 points. However, it was the NASDAQ today closing slightly in the red. Now coming into this week in the SPX, we expected 76 points. For the most part, we are positive out the gates Monday. We cracked negative on Tuesday's close. We cracked negative on Wednesday's close and we're closing slightly negative in today's tape. You can see we came pretty close to that lower edge, just about 20 points shy at 38.36. We'll play that lower edge. 39.89 is our upper edge, but it's going to take a lot to get there in tomorrow's tape. Now, when we take a look at the S&P from a daily, just take a look at this wick. We're seeing a nice wick and we're seeing the volume up tick. Can we end the week on a positive note? It's going to come down to what the NASDAQ wants to do. And when we take a look at this NASDAQ, it's just struggling to get going. On a year to date, the NASDAQ's up 0.79%. It was actually negative in today's tape and we're seeing it kind of get some of that back looking at it on an intraday. It's just struggling to get going. I'll tell you what is going today and that is the Russell 2000. Taking a look at the Russell 2000, it fell to a three standard deviation move at 2,095. We're still down large on the week. However, we're recovering back above the two sigma move at 2,157. Just take a look at it from a daily. It's been a brutal 10 days in the Russell 2000. On a year to date, however, the Russell is up 12%, so it is doing better than the NASDAQ. However, just look at today's session. A quick reversal off the three sig, and we're heading towards that one standard deviation. When we look at it on the expected move, that level is going to play 2219. If we could get some momentum in these small caps, look for 2219 to play a nice settling point to end this week. So we're seeing strength out of the small caps. However, we're lagging in the NASDAQ. What's going on under the hood in our sectors? And taking a look at our sectors today, the financials were leading the way up 1.68%. So the financials are leading the bunch. We have the industrials right behind it up 1.6%. Consumer staples up a little under 1%. We see software stocks up three quarters of a percent. Healthcare up a little under half a percent. Even energy about in the same boat. However, we see the XLK, that's our technology sector, up two basis points. However, when we look at the big five, that consists of Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and Facebook, it's down 0.84%, which is putting a lot of stress in the NASDAQ, as well as holding back the S&P. You can just see all of our sectors across the board with the financials leading. When we see the financials up like they are today, it gives this market a lot less of a headache as they do play a great glue to keeping the S&Ps together. However, it was the big five heavily in the red. You can see the difference between the XLK that is slightly green. It was Apple today that was the only green out of the big five. And look for tomorrow's session. If they can get a nice rebound, that could be the missing ingredient this market needs. So for the most part, we see strength coming out of our equities minus the big five. What's going on in the bond market? And when we take a look at the bonds, they're down about a quarter percent. After having three consecutive strong days in a row, the bonds today are calming down a bit. As for our bond yield, we take a look at the 10-year treasury. It's flat on the day, sitting at about a 1.6% yield. We look intraday, it saw a slight pop due to the seven-year auction note coming out. However, we're calm back down to the levels prior to that announcement. When we move on over to the volatility index, the VIX futures were on a wild day, getting close to 24 and a half quickly came back down. They finished down 3% here in the VIX futures. We look bigger picture here and the volatility index seeing an uptick in volume. As for the VVIX, it's sitting at a 104, down 5.5% intraday. Just take a look at the VVIX. It just collapsed, we can see right around noon. Couldn't get going and it's closing fairly weak, sitting at a 104. Remember, I would like us to see us hit 100 and we're halfway there. 
The VVIX could be signaling the bottom is in across the board in equities. We'll have to monitor how it trades in Friday's session, but this is a positive sign if you're long equities. And to wrap it up, let's take a look at our dollar index and see what's going on in the commodities. And taking a look at the dollar index, it's up about 40 basis points today, sitting at 92.87. It's seeing three very strong days in the dollar as it's getting stronger. As for our commodities, taking a look at crude oil, crude oil down about four and a half percent and crude oil has been on a seesaw seeing heavy down heavy up heavy down in today's tape we're back under 60 in crude oil what's going on in the precious metal gold we take a look at gold down about eight dollars today sitting at 17.25 with the dollar strengthening we're seeing gold take a slight hit as well as crude oil but what does that mean for bitcoin and taking a look at our bitcoin futures here Bitcoin futures today are down 4.5%, putting in a sizable wick, volume picking up. We look intraday, it came just 300 points shy of that psychological $50,000 level. I want to take it a little bit closer and take a look at some of my charts. Starting from the top, we take a look at Coinbase and we can see my Coinbase charts 51.8. We're slightly above that. Ultimately, we have this 47.8. However, we do have to crack that psychological 50K. We look on our Binance charts, 52K is another Fibonacci. We're slightly above that, but it's Bitcoin. Can quickly crack that on a dime. And last but not least, we have my Bitstamp chart, which is above this pitchfork, and it's trying to fight its way back higher. Now, if you've been considering a position here in Bitcoin, we're down over 10,000 points from the high set back on March 13th. Now would be a great time to start scaling into a position. You don't have to go heavy. Just adding a few hundred dollars here and there, accumulating Satoshis is a great idea. If you're looking to get into this position and you missed out when it was 60K, it's on sale right now. And also consider this, we're wrapping up this quarter, which means a lot of these companies are going to have to report have they been accumulating quietly? It will all come out after the quarterly earnings. So potentially we could be seeing a lot of names come out saying they've been buying, which with such the small supply that could boost this price and we could be at all time highs before you know it. There you have it for the stock market breakdown. With tomorrow being Friday, we'll look to end this week strong. Judging how the VVIX traded, the bulls will look to take over the tape. However, it's going to need help out of the NASDAQ, which closed slightly in the red. If we can get some strength out of the big five names, I think that's the missing ingredient. This market needs to go higher. And as for the Russell, it's had one hell of a week. Seeing a three standard deviation move to the downside, it's bouncing back strong. However, it's down quite a bit from the highs that it set back a couple weeks ago. If mega cap tech names want to get going at tomorrow's tape, I think that's the momentum that this market needs to end the week strong and to put March in the rear view mirror. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. It means a lot when you guys show some support. And if you're watching me for the very first time, I do these breakdowns every day. Show some love and hit that subscribe button. That will make my day as well. But any comments, questions, feedback, love to hear from you guys. Where do you see the markets going? Are right, so the bottom in? Can we start rallying and seeing all-time highs? But on that note, I will see you in tomorrow's session. Have a great night. Take care. Peace.